What a big crackdown today by cops in Suffolk County. A crackdown on dangerous drivers engaging in very dangerous stunts. It happens on weekends. And last weekend, the so-called drivers doing dangerous stunts on a service road off Sunrise Highway. Yeah, today police announced arrests and formed a new task force to go after those dangerous drivers who like to take over the streets. Here's Long Island reporter Shante Lance. Dangerous donuts just feed from plowing into onlookers. Reaching 119 miles per hour on the Long Island Expressway. Go, go, go! And vandalizing a Suffolk County police vehicle. Just some of the reckless destruction Sunday night in Islip after more than 100 youth illegally shut down multiple streets off of Sunrise Highway. Today we are announcing the formation of a new street takeover task force. Suffolk police say the task force will have highway unit officers and Suffolk sheriff's deputies working with PD's Criminal Intelligence Bureau. A bureau detective will use social media and the public's help to shut down street takeovers before they happen. Deploy our personnel to the scene so we're not endangering the public or our officers. Many heard shouting in the cell phone video at the first Suffolk County police officer that responded just before he was assaulted. We will find you. We will arrest you. And our DA will prosecute you. Uh, Romaine, Suffolk County District Attorney uh, Ray Tierney wants to ask New York State legislators to amend the law. So if there's a convicted of a misdemeanor, we could seize an impound and forfeit uh, individuals' cars. If they are found guilty to be involved, in street racing or road rage to allow us to crush that car. Suffolk County Executive Ed Romaine is talking about this charred Ford now in police custody that caught fire in Islip after crashing while fleeing from police. Two people were arrested, one from Brooklyn, the other from Westbury. Suffolk Police has this stern warning. Don't come to Suffolk County uh, and participate in this type of behavior. And this isn't the only dangerous incident. Last month, a Holbrook woman was struck by a car while standing in the crowd of a street takeover in Patch Hog. Crime Stoppers is now offering a $500 fast cash reward to anyone with information on the next street takeover. In Islip, Shante Lands, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.